Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Today we are going to start a first of maybe many uh, videos where we're going to look at the Java and Python solution and talk about some subtleties of the languages. Um, we're going to use some 6.7. If you haven't read this problem and you don't understand it, I recommend you go and you take a look at my solution that's online. Um, this is kind of serendipitous because I was actually going to record a new solution tonight for this when this person asked me a question about this. All right, so the question essentially said, you know, in my original solution that I have online right now is I use a loop and I have some if statements inside that loop. Um, and I, I use a flag to decide whether or not to add them. And they said, wouldn't it be great if I set it up such that I have a for loop, but when I run into a six, I use a while loop to increment the counter. So essentially what happens here is if we think of this as our list, we use a for loop to increment and we say, you're not a six, add it. You're not a six, add it. You're not a six, add it. You're a six. So we're still inside the loop and we use this logic right here and so what it does is it basically goes all the way and finds the next seven and that's that's kind of a really nice approach but they wrote it and they said it's, it's not working so you can see that this works here so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this code and we're going to copy it and let's put it in here and let's python pythonize this okay and i think this is a really nice thing to do for you to see because you'll see that whether you're doing Java or Python it's it's the same logic uh, it's just you have to change the syntax a little bit so we're gonna get rid of that we're using a sum zero we're gonna say for I in range and we just we just set I is zero here comma we just say num we say length of nums instead of nums dot length just a slight change in syntax comma and then I'm going to increment by one each time so there we go and I get rid of that brace and put a colon. So I've changed that for loop to a for I am range loop. Um, perhaps you can see why I prefer loops in Java so much more. You have a lot more flexibility playing around with them. Um, for loops, that is. And now here, we, we don't do nums.length. We say length of nums. And I'm going to change this and to the word and. Uh, I'm going to have to put a colon at the end and get rid of that brace. And then we have this if statement. Get rid of this brace. We're going to say while i is less than and again we're going to say len of nums and change this to an and we'll get rid of that brace put a colon get rid of that brace get rid of that brace get rid of that brace and hopefully it works doesn't work and in fact what we can see is that if you add them up it's it's adding it's adding them all up so in this case you'll see we have 1 plus 1 plus 2 which is 4 which we should get and then it's not adding the 6, but it's adding the 7. So something funny is happening here. So let's figure out what that is. The problem is a Python issue. So when Java runs code, you write in what's called a .java file, if you were writing this on a, in, you know, writing a Java file yourself. And when you run a program, it compiles it into a .class file. So it reads the entire file, interprets it, changes it into machine code, and executes it. That's the important point. It reads the entire file before it runs. Python doesn't read the entire file before it runs. It will read a line, execute a line, read a line, execute a line. Because of that, you cannot manipulate the counter inside a for loop. And so even though what we have here is logically sound, this i is not affecting that i for the for loop. And that's your problem. That's it. The problem is that for loops with Python, you cannot change the counter inside of them. So how do we solve this problem? Well, we can solve this problem really quickly by simply setting up this for loop as a while loop. And it's good to note that for loops and while loops are completely interchangeable. So remember, we have the count check change. So instead of using the i variable here, I'm going to set an i variable to 0. I'm going to change this for to a while. And remember, a while is just like an if statement. So i is already set to 0, and we're going to say while i is less than the length of nums. And this is a change that gets applied at the end of each loop. So we're going to take that, and we're going to come to the bottom of this and say i equals i plus 1. We've got to put that inside the loop. And we run it, and there it is. So again, big takeaway here. You can take your Java code paste it into Python and modify it. You can take your Python code and paste it into Java and modify it. That's why I always recommend doing both Python and Java together. Um, but there are subtle differences between the languages. And one of those is that when you run a Java file, it will read the entire file and then execute. 
this gives this has some benefits but a python file will read line by line and execute and one of the results is you can't change a counting variable when you use a for i in range loop i hope this helped um, please don't hesitate to ask any questions have a great day